Hi, this is Tammy C. Walker, life coach, therapist, and social worker, owner of DreamsAreAReality.com, because dreams really are a reality. Subscribe, hit the like button, and today I want to talk to you about going to therapy. The topic is how to allow therapy to work. I picked this topic because I am a therapist and a social worker, so I get a lot of new clients but some don't stick. I also picked this topic because I was in therapy off and on for years and I really did stick with it and it made a huge difference in my life. I know as social workers, we're trained not to take it personal, like with our clients, but if you're a good social worker and a good therapist, you do feel bad when your client comes once, twice, three times and poof, they're gone. And especially the ones you see that really was enjoying it and really was putting their all into it and they just disappear. And you know if they had stuck with it for maybe two more months, they would have saw or they would have seen rather some results. But it's like microwave 2019 results. People want things quickly, but when you want to lose weight, you have to lose a what? One pound, two pounds per week. It takes time, don't it? If you talk to someone that's lost 50 pounds, they're going to tell you it took them so many months. Some people take a year. If you want to finish college, it takes a while, don't it? If you want to build a house, it takes a while. Um, if you want to grow your hair out, it takes a while. Same with therapy. It takes a while. So I want you to think about building a house or going back to school, having a baby, you know. These things take time. T, 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 T. These things take time. So it's the same with therapy. No difference. It takes time. So I'm going to give you five tips. If you're thinking of going to therapy, God forbid if you're battling with mental illness, depression, whatever it is, don't be ashamed. Pick up that phone. If you have an EAP provider, get in touch with them. Tell somebody who feels suicidal, call 911. Seriously, it's nothing to play with anymore. It never was, but people are really taking this more serious. And I'm very proud of people, but stick with it when you do go to therapy. Stick with it. Okay, five tips. Number one, be committed and take it serious. Treat it like you're at a doctor appointment or you're on a project because you are. And a project is your mind. You want to get your mind together. So use that as a goal. My end goal is to have better confidence. My end goal is to be better in relationships, to be healthier. My end goal is to break this addictive behavior. My end goal is to learn how to um, have techniques and tools for my depression. Whatever it is, my anxiety, that's a big one. Anxiety and depression are huge. So take your therapy serious and commit to it. It's not going to uh, benefit you if you go two weeks. It's not going to work, seriously. Give it two months. Give it four months. Give it some months before you say, no, nah, this isn't working. That's my best advice. Tip number two, be honest. Don't go in the therapist's office and he or she has to pull information out of you or you blame your spouse for everything or your boyfriend or your girlfriend. What did you do in a relationship? What didn't you do? Be transparent. I have an addiction. Say that. The therapist haven't heard anything that you 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 say. A therapist have heard so much more. You will be, you know, you wouldn't be surprised. You, we hear a lot. We hear a lot and it's confidential. We cannot disclose names and what you're saying to us so don't you worry it stays behind those four walls but be honest tip number three be open and ready to release that addictive behavior um clients they may come to you they come to me rather or other therapists and they are in a toxic relationship the person breaks up with them they run the therapy the next two weeks the person comes back they don't come back even if you want to stay with that person that's your choice but maybe if you go to therapy, you'll learn boundaries about how to deal with toxic relationships. Maybe your healthiness will probably run them away because they're not going to want to be with you. Or maybe you can convince them to come with you. So 
going to therapy is always good because it's going to help you and you you may turn around and help your relationship or maybe your partner say let me go too you never know but be honest and be willing to release the addictive behaviors i see a lot of uh, marijuana addiction a lot of addictions these days be willing be open to new tools hey what about essential oils meditation you know reiki um you just have to be open. You mention some of these tools to some clients and they're very closed off. Oh, I don't want to do meditation. Yeah, I have oil already. It's like they're not even listening to you. So be open to the tools because sometimes therapy is one part. You might have to journal. You may have to meditate. You may have to pray. You may have to read your Bible or whatever you believe in. If you have to do five things to have a good Monday, it's okay. You still had a good Monday. It doesn't matter how you get through your day or to a good Monday as long as you get to it. So be open to tools. Last but not least, be patient, but be very patient and very proud that you took that step and went to therapy. That's something to pat yourself over the back over because it's easy to sit in your mess and not own it. But when you say, I have a problem, or I need reinforcement, I need support, that takes a brave person. So I hope my five tips help. I just want to talk about them because I am a therapist and I see this a lot when people quit after two sessions and you could tell they were really into it. I don't know if it's money, if it's lack of time, they don't see results, but you're not going to see results in two, day, two days or two weeks, sometimes not even two months, but try, 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 try to find a good therapist that you match up with. If you don't match up with him or her, then end it and go find you a better match. You deserve that. Okay, Tammy C. Walker, like, subscribe. Have a great night. Bye.